Hey, I, I want to thank you all for coming, old friends and new. The Independence Institute, for those of you who don't know, technically we're called a think tank. Um, but I think we're a whole lot more than a think tank. We're an action tank. We're a freedom enterprise. We fight for Colorado. I believe we have a vision, all of us, that Colorado becomes a symbol of liberty for the nation. If you feel the way I feel, we are very concerned about the future of this country. And if you feel what I feel, you feel that we're on the brink of something we don't know. We worry about what happens in DC. We believe at the Independence Institute the best way to solve the problems in Washington DC are to solve the problems of the state first. We must innovate at the state and bring that to Washington DC. In other words, we can't save the United States until we save the state of Colorado. And that's what we do. Now, I, I wanna talk just, just a, a quick second about how we do this. There are a lot of organizations that do great work, but often we throw ourselves behind personalities. We love personalities. We want someone to win and solve our problems. The left took a very different tact. They decided to build an infrastructure. They decided to invest in institutions, unions, academia, public schools. And then here in Colorado, taking a cue from the success of the Independence Institute, they built think tanks and litigation centers, and they took over the state. You know, if I can be critical of us as a movement for a moment, it's that we get wrapped up in personality. And we've had a funding pattern that revolves around a candidate. We like our candidate, and every year we choose our guy, and our friends choose their guy. These two guys go to battle in a um, primary and savage each other. And in the meantime, good people run for office, and they, they rent office space. They, they, they rent computers. They rent databases. They rent phones. And for the most part, they rent people for six months. Now, if they win, spectacular. I, I hope they do their job and are true to their promises. But win or lose, all those things they built up after election day come crashing down. And then a year and a half later, we say, who's going to save us? And we start picking our horses again. The left doesn't pick horses. The left bought the damn racetrack. And if we're going to win, we have to take a longer view of how we build our infrastructure to save Colorado. Not only do we try to change policy in all sorts of areas from educational choice to fiscal responsibility to Second Amendment issues to transportation, but we realize our job at the Independence Institute is very clear. We're here to build a permanent freedom infrastructure a permanent infrastructure that helps us over the long haul so we can win back the state and win back the country. We do that by putting out our policy work as a think tank. This is the way the world should be, but we do so much more. The Independence Institute, more than any other organization in Colorado, works on coalition building. I don't know if you've noticed this, but the members of our team are somewhat dysfunctional. That is, we don't always get along with one another. In the state of Colorado, the left literally walks across the street from the Capitol to the Colorado Education Association building to plan. They meet with the lawyers, they meet with the unions, they meet with the eco-left, they meet with their whole coalition. And since they all get paid when government grows, they work together. Our movement is completely ripped apart. We have social conservatives and libertarian conservatives. We have grassroots activists. We have the so-called establishment who work in government. There's only one place that they come together. That's at the Independence Institute. That's why several years ago we invested in buying a building close to the Capitol. We nicknamed our Freedom Embassy, which allows these groups to come to work together. We have a legal center which sues on behalf of liberty, does the ugly work of taking people and governments to court. 
We have investigative reporters like Todd Shepard who do the work that reporters were supposed to do, but they don't. We have channels of distribution to get the news out like CompleteColorado.com, which is Colorado's version of the Drudge Report. Our television show, our radio shows, our internet channels. We also recruit people for this. You know, I think a lot of people in our movement think of our work in politics, everyone's work in politics, as an expense. That is, when it's that time of year to run for office, somebody comes to you and they ask for a check. And we look at it kind of like we look at, oh, I don't know, paying for our car insurance. We want the best deal and we want to get over with it. There's no joy. There's no hope. It's an expense that we have to take care of. I see it as a very different way. We need to look at what we do, not as an expense, but as an investment. The same way we look at churches, the same way we give money to colleges to build buildings, the same way we give money to hospitals to build a new wing. We don't do that for the moment. We do that for future generations. But when it comes to the most valuable thing, our liberty, too often we look at this as an expense. I'd like to plant this one seed. We need to change our minds and see this as the investment, that we are the patriots, we are the patrons, we are the investors in something, not just for today, but for the years to come. That's what Independence Institute is. And I'm, I'm thrilled we're all here tonight. I want to make it clear that we're doing some things a little different tonight. Um, it's a fundraising event for us, and our primary fundraising event, and I'm thrilled to announce, so far, uh, until we get Tom Tancredo's uh, bar bill, this has been the most financially successful Founders Night in our history, and I want to thank you. I want to thank you for that.